Hey guys, welcome back to Heiko Shaves. Today we have another shave coming up and uh, this has been uh, in preparation for a while. So on May 27th here in the United States, this year we celebrated Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a day when we remember and honor fallen servicemen and women. And a lot of uh, retailers on that day usually have a little sale going on and uh, that includes the Razor Company. The Razor Company I've bought from before. Uh, they have sponsored videos here on this channel before and so I put in a little order with a few bits and pieces and uh, I try to get a set together with items for a shave as cheaply as I can. And I have the order here in front of me. So I bought a sterling aftershave, which is lemon chill mentholated. This whole bottle, 100 milliliters, was $5.99. Then I bought one pack of razor blades. Uh, this is a Dorco Super Sharp Stainless. Pack of five was 80 cents. So I bought a pack of five razor blades, if I can get it out of this wrapper here, for 80 cents. That's pretty good, right? So like I said, I tried to do as cheaply as I can. Dorco, made in Vietnam. Yeah, that's what it says at least. So a full bottle of aftershave, lemon chill mentholated. Glacial, actually, so it has a lot of menthol in it. Then, I bought the cheapest shave brush that I could find. This is a Gillette plastic br bristles and plastic handle. This was $2.67 during their Memorial Day uh, sale. Let's get that out of the package. This is probably not gonna be my, my next, yeah, this is, this is really rough. <laughs> so there are no uh, uh, rounded over tips. This is literally like a, yeah, it, it's pretty harsh. <laughs> but anyways, $2.67. Um, then I got a shave cream, Wildstone Ultra Sensual, made in India, and that was $3.52. This is 70 grams, or doesn't it really say here anywhere. Yeah, 78 grams. Yeah, the extra 30%. I don't know if this is going to be any good. Let's just give it a quick sniff test. I can get it out of the package here. So yeah, the, the typical cream, the super masculine. Ah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not too exotic, I like that. So it's kind of a, you know, what you expect of a shave product. And then what else do we have? Oh yeah, we have a razor, right? So here, this is the Bailey or Bailey, Bailey three-piece razor, also in this little bubble wrap thing here. This is, uh, you know, a zinc cast, chrome plated, really inexpensive, and this one was $4.89. Big old Chungus handle here. Three piece, typical three piece. Comes apart really easily. Might have been inspired by Gillette a little bit. At least the bottom base plate here looks like it, even though this is a, a, a cast piece rather than a stamped piece. Well, take a quick look here. And the handle, let's let's weigh it real quick. Four dollars and eighty-nine cents. All right, take my slim here out of the way. Bear with background noise. Everyone is at home, and obviously, as soon as I go into the bathroom and start the camera, everyone has to walk up and down this, the hallway twenty times. I don't know why that is. Ninety-seven point four grams. So pretty hefty little thing. So let's uh, let's. Uh, Put a blade on there. What did I just do with a pack of blades? The Dorco. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh yeah, it's right in front of me. There, Dorco. And we're gonna yank a blade out of there. I've never used Dorco, so I have no idea if they're any good. Made in Vietnam, as I said. Double wrapped, so they have an outer just with advertisement. And then just a piece of wax paper. And not cutting in my fingers. The super sharp. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think about Dorco blades. I will find out what I think about it. Do you like Dorco? Do you use them? I probably would have found a Dorco in my drawer here down below my sink. But uh, I, you know, I wanted to do the whole cheap razor experience by purchasing everything. 
I didn't really do the math here real quick. Uh, so six bucks, six dollars eighty, nine dollars eighty, ten dollars thirty two, ten dollars thirty two, twelve dollars thirty two, twelve dollars ninety nine, and uh, twelve dollars ninety nine plus roughly five. So seventeen dollars ninety nine cents. For $17, a full-size aftershave, a shave cream that smells okay, uh, Dorco blades, a cheapo brush, and uh, a razor. And since I picked a shave cream, we don't really need a shave bowl. So uh, let me just fill up my water containers here, all of them at once, and then uh, we'll get going. Five minutes later. All right, so water is all set up, razor is loaded. Um, let's get my face just ever so slightly moist. That helps the stubbles a little bit to soften up. Again, two days of growth here in my face that needs to come off. And we will see if our Bailey Bailey razor can do it. And now you can do shave cream multiple different ways. You can just squeeze it in your hand, rub it in, or you can take your brush. Let's see if the brush method works. I just got it wet and now we're just gonna squeeze some shave cream on there and then, oh this is rough, oh this is rough. Okay, don't buy a $2.67 shave brush or whatever it was. <laughs> this is harsh. The ends are just like a, you know, like a cleaning brush. Nylon bristles. The scent is really good. It's like a nice fresh In a pinch you can always lather with your hands so you can avoid the harsh bristle bristles here You can't really splay it open like you would usually do. Oh, this is harsh All right, I cannot recommend this cheaper Gillette brush I don't know why people would buy it because this is absolutely horrific <laughs> okay, let's uh, say that we forgot to buy a shave brush and we just do that with our hands. So you just squeeze some in your hand, get a little water and then rub it in. This is the brushless lather. The scent is really pleasant. I'm surprised. Or not surprised, but you know, pleasantly surprised. So, like that, this is of course now going to be a little thick. So I just watered it down a little bit because or else you're gonna clog up the, the razor. And then, you know, anyways. So here is the chrome handle Bailey. It's really slickery now because of my soapy hands. That's not good. So let's see if I can fix that. You can also touch your alum block if you have one lying around. And uh, blade alignment looks good. Let's do the zoom in. And here we go. Very mild. Very mild, but it's shaving. In the past I've done this uh, trip to the dollar store and bought all their shave products and the razors they are always horrible. Like if you buy a dollar razor from the dollar store, yeah, um, I think the last time I did that I ended up throwing away both razors halfway through and switch to a Gillette. Like a vintage Gillette. But this one here, for what, $4.99? Um, the handle is really slick, so there is not much knurling or anything that helps you hold on to the thing. So probably getting your alum block out to just you know, get a little aluminum on your fingers that then helps you 
get some traction is a good idea. But due to the fact that it is chrome plated, it's really slick. It glides really good, uh, really well over my skin. I've seen this uh, Bailey razor in uh, my friend Jörg's um, shave channel Galat Rasiert on review. So I had heard of it before. It's a very inexpensive but very usable mild uh, three-piece razor. All right, and now I'm just spreading out the remnant here, kind of like as if I would use um, pre-shave. Get the rest of my hands. I guess I will have to do the hand lathering one more time. Just a little. Let's add a little bit more water to it. Yeah, very good. Get most of it off my hands. And I will immediately touch my alum block one more time. Just to make sure I don't slip off my razor here. Alright, and let's do a second pass. Yeah, again working tonight, night shift. Last night was pretty rough. We were out on a patient transport from 1.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the morning. But that's the job, that's what we do. So, had to sleep a little bit here during the day. Earplugs in, curtains drawn. We always have to remind the boys not to bounce up and down the hallway too often. Yeah, this, this razor is really very usable. Um, no blade sticking out here on the ends. Uh, the, the cutting edge is pretty far away from the edge of the razor, which yeah, that's one of the downsides when you cover up the blade tabs, then you just have more material here on the side. But, uh... Oh. Don't cut yourself in the lip. Two passes and we are very much at an acceptable level here. So quick inspection, that's good enough for a work day. I don't want to get my skin all irritated before I go to work and then I regret it for the rest of the evening. All right, let, let me rinse off real quick. All right, this shave cream has some incredible amount of residual slickness. Took me a good while to, uh, to wash it off my face. Again, the scent description of this is really just a very nice and clean, fresh scent with ultra masculine fragrance, gives a rich lather that softens the toughest beard and delivers a real close shave. Wildstone, get noticed. Yeah, product from India, uh, agua, steric acid, glycerin, coconut, fatty acid, potassium hydroxide, uh, myristic acid, perfume, titanium dioxide, borax, sodium hydroxide, magnesium sterate, beeswax, that's none of your beeswax, 
sodium silicate, lanolin, uh, methyl paraben, propyl paraben, menthol, love it, butylated hydroxyltoline, disodium EDTA, and CI19140. Probably should have checked the ingredient list before I smeared that in my face. That's always the problem. They smell good, look good, work well, but then some of the ingredients I just have no idea what they do. Anyways, that's life, right? All right, now I'm really looking forward towards trying this uh, Lemon Chill by Sterling. So yeah, the Razor Company, they do have their own line of products and we have tried a Razor Company Razor before. I still have it back here. This uh, US made black anodized aluminum razor that I actually really like. They put some stainless steel inserts in there. So all the wear parts or the, the stressed parts, uh, they have stainless steel inserts. So the, the, the threaded portion, the threaded pin here, and the alignment pins, they're all stainless. And the handle, oop, and I dropped another uh, washer. There is a stainless steel insert in the handle to make it more durable because aluminum can wear out pretty quickly. And so yeah, this is a really good razor. And if I remember correctly, this was $45 back in the days. So anyways, the razor company, they are kind of an online retailer for everything shaving. You can get all kinds of different brands, including Sterling. And for $5.99, a full size aftershave, the lemon shell, the, the glacial aftershave splash, denatured alcohol, witch hazel, essential oil, aloe, menthol, glycerin, and hydrovans. And Arkansas, United States, that's where it's made. All right, let's put a little splash here in my hand. Way too much, perfect. And, yeah, very lemony. Ah, a little bit of some burning sensation, but that's normal if you put some alcohol-based aftershave in your face. Even if you shave with a super mild razor. <laughs> Lack of oxygen. <laughs> yeah, very, very much lemon and very much menthol. So this is going to be burning in my face for a while. Not because of the alcohol, but because of the menthol. Like it. I like it. And I'm gonna park it here on my little rotating Lazy Susan, right next to the Orange Chill, which I already owned. There you go. So slowly running out of space, guys. Oh, this is good. Whew. And then you guys know that after this wears off a little bit, then I usually put some little balm on there just to, you know, take care of my skin. Uh, dry, dry skin up here. I found a, a German cream Haut Balsam, it's Gleisolid, I guess. That's made in Germany, hergestellt in Deutschland. Uh, Bornos GmbH, and that stuff, very thick. I just put that here on my problem zones and that really seems to help a lot. So this one, check that out. Alrighty guys, so we did a what, what did I say? Uh, $17.99 shave, the razor, dirty but it's uh, performing really well the Bailey or Bailey or whatever you want to call it uh, cast zinc I don't know if the handle is maybe brass and then chrome plated I cannot tell you maybe here let's take a take a quick look on the inside yeah the handle is solid brass that's good made in China if I'm not completely mistaken and then the Dorco blades they they perform fine so no previous experience, made in Vietnam. Dorco Co LTD is actually from the Republic of Korea, South Korea, that, that is. Um, they were pretty good too. This cream here, Wildstone, um, made in India, ultra sensual. I really like the scent. You guys help me out, figure out if any of the stuff here in this uh, ingredient list that I just read to you guys, if it's really bad, like magnesium steroid. Every time I, I read some, uh, titanium dioxide, magnesium, you know, the same with aluminum and all that stuff. I don't know if that stuff really needs to be in here, if, if it improves anything or if it's just... And then this uh, disodium EDTA, CI19140. 
no idea. But it performed well. It was very slick. It uh, lathered up easy with my hands because this thing here, absolute garbage. You can maybe put shoe polish on your shoes, maybe cut it shorter to make the stubbles, uh, the stubbles, the bristles stiffer, and then you can use it to apply shoe polish, but not for, you know, it, it's like using a toothbrush to lather. They're very harsh, the ends, and you cannot splay it open. It just wants to stay like this. So I have no idea who really uses those, but they're available online. It was $2.67 or something like that. So yeah, we did a really cheap uh, uh, shave with, with decent products. I mean, the razor is really good and the blades were good and the shave cream was good. And then of course, a $5.99 full size aftershave splash from Sterling, that was a deal. Yeah, that was Memorial Day, May 27th this year, 2024. Uh, the Holiday itself was implemented 1868 by the commander-in-chief back in the days to uh, remember the fallen, um, originally known as Decoration Day, I guess, where fallen soldiers would, would receive uh, awards after the fact, after they had passed away. And we're still celebrating this to this day and remembering the fallen service members. So if you served in the military, thanks for your service. Alrighty, guys, that was it. My skin is calming down. The menthol is very wearing off. The scent is really strong still. Lemon and menthol. And uh, I like it. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.